Hey everybody, welcome back to Leech News episode 53, Eugene on the scene. Okay. Let's just do this. Okay. There you go, bro. Yeah, oh, oh, wait, wait, bro, she called you trash. What? Oh, well, she raped. Yeah, she did. She said, put some more trash on that man. As a joke, she was laughing. <laughs> put some more trash on that man. Oh, you should put some more trash on him. <laughs> racist, dog. What? Bro, she called you racist, dog. She want me to put more trash on you, damn. Fucked up. Damn, she fucking hates him, dude. Damn. I'm going to tell you, bro, if you're over here, you're going to 9th Street, definitely walk on the inside of these buildings, it's like a little market. Okay. I mean, if you want, I know you got a fucking cool well, ass stream. There's, there's, there's a bunch of markets here, I could just explore yeah, whatever. You gotta, whatever you're gonna do, it's gonna be cool, so. Hell yeah. But yeah, man. All right, man, I'll see you later, dude. Yo. You have a good day, man. Hey, man, you good? You good, bro? No? What's wrong, man? What's going on? Your foot? What's, did you break it? Why don't you go to the hospital? I did, they couldn't do nothing about it. They couldn't do nothing about it? What? Oh. You didn't ask for a, a wheelchair? I tried to. Oh no. I'm sorry, man. I'm very, very sorry. It's okay, brother. Don't worry about it. Alright, man. Hey, yeah? Okay. Yeah. It's all good, man. I just want to make sure you're fine, you know? Alright. I'll try to make it as best I can. Alright. I have no change right now, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. Good shit. What? Get your fucking camera off of me, my nigga, because I slapped the fuck out of your fucking camera, my nigga. What the fuck are you gonna do, huh? Get your fucking camera off of me. That's the fucking face, bro, because I swear to God, bro. I get your motherfucking camera off of me. Hold on. No, hell no, give me that. Your face has sex with mothers. You do sound like you got a lisp. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> she dropped my fucking phone, dog. Hold on. Eh? Bro, she dropped my fucking phone, dog. <laughs> How did my phone fail? What the fuck? <laughs> How did my phone fail, dog? I thought she was going my phone, dog. It didn't crack, homie. You can't, you didn't crack my phone. <laughs> Let this be a lesson. Always put a case and a glass guard on your phones, everyone. Especially if they're thousand dollar phones. But even if they're not, always put a glass case and a regular case around your phones for protection. Because you never know who you're going to come across. Also, a lot of accidents happen where you Phone gets flung, you drop your phone, you know, the normal everyday stuff too. But if you are a live streamer, yeah. Get one of these durable cases that you see here in Mexican Andy's hand. Some might be discounted. They range from $20 to $40 mostly. Get a good case, people. You making that good streamer money? Get a good case. Fuck you! You didn't crack my phone, homie. You didn't crack my phone, dog. <laughs> yeah, she didn't crack my phone, dog. This phone in contact. It's in contact. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> Damn, bro. I ain't doing anything, dog. What the hell? Where's my charger at, bro? Where's my charger at, dog? Oh crap, bro. She took my charger, dog. Oh fuck. Chad, she took my charger. Did she? Bro, my phone fell out, dude. I ain't glad she took my phone, dog. She dropped it, bro. That was random as fuck. <laughs> bro, I'm short, dog. What can I do? I'm fucking short, chat. I can't do anything about it. If I'm short, I can't even do shit. Bro, this is what happens when you're in Skid Row, dude. Shit like this. You just gonna end the story there? You're not gonna let us find out if she took your charger or not? Is that big black thing a charger? Oh. What's happening? Let's get out of Skid Row. 
It happened so quick. Yeah, dude. I wasn't using the homeless guy for content. I just wanted to make sure it was fine. And next thing you know, she was talking about, oh, what are you doing with the homeless guy and shit like that? And I put it on her and she's like, don't fucking film me. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. I, I forgot that I wasn't scared of her also. I knew something like that was bound to happen. I knew something like that was bound to happen, bro. Hey, yeah. Merlin, thanks for those directions, dog. Chat, if I didn't have a case, my phone would crack to oblivion. Hold on. No, hell no, give me that. Eh! <laughs> <laughs> phone, dog. Hold on. Eh! Bro, she took my fucking phone, dog. <laughs> How did my phone fell? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Not for two. <laughs> How did my phone fell, dog? Like but she threw it, Mexican Andy. Your phone didn't fall. She threw it. Then you got a weirdo grimoire over here. Acting like she knows how to be a scuffed reaction video channel. Because she's trying not to do the leg content. And the booty content. And the video game content. She's trying to stay holed up. You can't be holed up for, for forever. Pretty soon you will be popular and you will have to get out there and be a real human being. You can't you didn't crack my phone. Ah, fuck you, you didn't crack my phone, homie. You didn't crack my phone, dog. <laughs> if he was wearing your shirt. Yeah, if he didn't crack my phone, dog, his phone. Who was wearing your shirt? Eh? He was wearing your shirt. In contact, in contact. I'm confused. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> Damn, bro. I ain't doing anything, dog. What the hell? Where's my charger at? Eh, he's like Mexican, so like he still got jumped. Oh my god. Yeah. He got some skinny boy legs. Love that. That was scary. I'm so glad I never went there. I was never there. Excuse me. Wow. Grimoire clutch with the racism as usual. You're Mexican, so you're not going to get pressed in California, by the way. Remember that. If you're Mexican, you're not going to get pressed in California, okay? Mexican. Grimoire, what an idiot. Oh my goodness. Just please keep her off these videos, please. What a dumb, dumb, dummy head. Do you need help with anything? Okay, I, I saw you struggling with the bike. <laughs> I, just I can pick it. it up with my hand, like. I just turned it around. Okay. Do you want to go to a mansion? I do not. <laughs> okay. See, I can do a lot better than Hector can with getting people over. Like, I'm okay with that. Like, it's easy. I was just fucked around there. That wasn't a, that wasn't my true, uh... <laughs> that wasn't my true try right there. I wasn't trying at all, but, you know, that was just a joke, but I realistically could. If I see some girls, I'll pull up on them and, uh, you know, bring them over for the music video. Case closed. There's a serial killer who does mention that he did it, though. When I listen to OJ talking about it, I'm just like, bro, you had to have done it. He's like, there was, like, stuff all around. He's like, there was, like, stuff all around the place and everything, and they were like, um, what kind of stuff? He's like, I don't know what you call like, blood? <laughs> what a stupid laugh. <laughs> I'm trying to get that laugh out. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it goes on like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Huh? Like, wow, hold on. When you laugh like that, like, that's not an innocent laugh. An innocent laugh is kind of like, I mean, you know, I don't want to, you know, it takes a lot of effort. <laughs> That's like, I'm laughing. I'm really laughing. Like, I... So if you laugh like Ice Poseidon, then you're a murderer. Wow. Might have some pent up bitterness there, EBZ. Hmm. I definitely don't agree that O.J. Simpson did any murdering.
His good old pal that's all over the media did, though. Kato Kalin did all that murdering. His car was found at the crime scene. Yeah. But no, he's all over the media. He's all in the public's eye. It's always those that are right in front of you. That are super popular. Have the winning personalities that are the murderers. That's what I gather from this CPC. Hmm. Hmm. Does make you think, though. A lot of speculation. A lot of... Eh, no research done. A lot of just guessing. Guesswork. But hey. Content, right? Gotta admire the man for that. And of course, even I could be wrong. I'm probably definitely wrong, but hey. Just makes you think. Open up your mind and think. Think for yourselves. Don't follow group think logic, bro. It'll make you a murderer. In this case, it might make you get away with murder, and you, you don't want that thought in your head. Thinking you can just do anything you want and not suffer any consequences. Nah, you don't want to be like that. They did, for real. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Bro, you being oh no, not going. Yeah, don't take your shit in front of me. They don't care. Yeah. Con content. <laughs> Thank you. Why the hell they have needles here? Dude, you almost stepped on the needles, bro. They have just bags full of stuff just laying around. Feels like the police plant all this stuff there. Just throw all these needles all over the ground. All these cotton swabs. They're not busy solving real crimes, so they got to do something. There's some bags of needles all over the ground. And cotton swabs. And weird little hangers with baby clothes. Baby clothes hangers. I mean, does, does this not look like a setup to you? Bubble gum wrappers, baby clothes hangers, tissues, cotton swabs, one needle, a bread tie for... The bread, that yellow stringy thing, a wine bottle cork, and some other random tissues and bottle caps. Uh, definitely looks like a setup bag to me. Now the bag looks old and believable. One of them tourist trap bags. But you never know. It could be real, huh? See, always question everything. It's okay to question it. But yeah, it's real, right? Right? That's why you carry shoes downtown. They have special crews that you're lucky the needle wasn't there because you stepped on it. Yeah, I know. I didn't notice that. Thank I you did. so much. I, I do. I walked out. That's why I don't wear those slippers. You oh don't my God. Get home because they got HIV. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to get HIV. Hell no. I'm not, I said I'm... tell you stepped on it. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. They have a special crew to pick up that. Yeah. Oh, God, I gotta get out of here. Oh. Oh, thank you. She okay? She fell on the floor. All right, what are you doing? Are you a singer? Yeah, I was singing, but she fell down, so I feel like I should wait until she get up and she feels better. She fell down from your singing? No, she she gave me a tip when she was going back, she fell down. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> You're just that good. You know, people break glasses, you break... People. I feel bad. I no, feel don't bad. worry. It's not your fault. That just means you're good. <laughs> age it's is just only a number. A number. Hey, Love you, man. Thank you. I appreciate age is just a number. How old do you think I am? I'm 24 years old. Are you? Yeah. But I pretend I'm 13. Yeah. Because I feel 13 inside. I feel 13. Uh, I don't want to hang around 13-year-olds, but I want to be 13. 
because it makes me feel young. It makes me feel alive. Like I have the energy of a 13 year old inside of me. Oh my. You have the energy of a 13 year old inside of you. Uh, poor, poor choice of words, but old men like to feel young, right? <laughs> Not me. I don't like 13 year old energy. I don't like that feeling inside me. No. Nothing's going inside of me, please. Except God's power. Horny for the Lord. Gay for Jesus. <laughs> nah. Nah, just a straight man who loves the Lord. That's it. That's all. <laughs> I know, I like it. It's good shit. No, I know that sounded weird. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, with the, the energy. I meant like, I want to be young on the inside. That's what I meant to say. That's what I, that's what I mean. Hey, you know what? At least I made history today. I am the first guy to get pressed by a woman on the S10, so I made history with the S10 Plus today. And I was the first live streamer with the S10 Plus. That's another history right there. So, hey, I'm pretty good. I'm so happy, dude. I, I just think that was funny, bro. Hi. How you doing? What are you up to? Oh, cool. Where are you going to? How about this? Instead of decompressing at your house, yeah. why don't you decompress at my house? I have a girlfriend. What are you doing at your house? What's so fun about your house? Well, there's what a do you have to offer here? there's a music video going on over there. Cool. And they need actresses. Cool. What type of music video? Rap. Okay. I do do those things, but I'm actually a model, so I usually get paid for them. But I love the insight. If you need like random girls, I can maybe try and like. I mean, that would be great. I mean, <laughs> if you want money, then they would probably pay you. Or even if they don't, like, fuck it, it's fun. You get free food. The butlers will give you a massage. Wow. It's all good. Tempting. Sorry, what's your name? Victoria. Victoria, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, so this is them. They're doing this. What are your thoughts on the Hitler's performance since they've settled in? But, I don't know. Let me, uh, <laughs> want me to call him? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Do you not trust I, me? Or? No, how about I just give you my number and then you text me? And then, can I get one of these in it? Do you want me to give you my number and then you can like text me yeah, the phone stuff? Put your number in here. And what was your name again? Uh, just call me Ice. That's the name of my friend's dog. The friend's like dog? Name. It's a famous person's dog. It's not a famous person's dog. It's a cool person's dog. It's named Ice. A famous person's dog? I'm not going to tell you who it is. But Why? It's like Ice Cube or something? No. Well, you know, you sign in the A. Like the NDA for, a, for the name fun. of a dog? You never know. I'm just I'm a personal person. Are I live right up the street. Okay, well, I yeah. live like 25 minutes away. Okay, cool. So, it just works. Alright, see you later. That was creepy. Just wants to make friends and come over and do some weird music videos, dude. Doesn't want the story of your life. I know famous people. I got paid $128 an hour to strut around on your video, man. So, you like, count for me and stuff, because, you know, I don't, I don't just do stuff for free. But getting massages from butlers and getting free food would be nice, though. Sounds like a fun time, guys. Sounds like it might be fun, guys. All right, we're going to wrap that up. Bleach News, episode 53. You doing all those things? Oh my, oh my, oh my. Whatever shall we do? Well, Mexican Andy, it's good that you're getting out there in life. It's just sad that people want to tear you down. Even Grimoire, munching off your cloud, trying to stay holed up, munching off your cloud. <sighs> Our dearest Ice Poseidon, your poor choice of words have been 
the epitome of the story of our lives and the beautiful comedy that makes this whole streaming life seem appealing and hilarious and funny. Oh, keep up the great work, my man. Great stuff. And ABC. Though we don't see eye to eye and agree on everything, I still want what's best for you. Yeah. It's the CX effect, man. Unfortunately. You fall on hard times. The content gets really weird, man. It's just what happens. Ice Poseidon said it last night on his stream that he's going to have a talk with you. So let's hope for the best for EBZ, huh? How about that? All right. Well, y'all be kind to one another out there. I got nothing else in the wrap-up. I'm sure I missed something as usual. You got to do what you feel out there. Like, dislike, subscribe, unsubscribe. Ring that bell, don't ring that bell. Leave a comment, don't leave a comment. Do what you feel. I know I'll love you no matter what. It's all good in this hood. <laughs> all right. Make someone laugh today, how about that?